explaining the reality of whether Musk's remuneration package is worth a trillion dollars is left for the full length video. This focuses instead on what the targets say about Tesla's future plans and what's needed to achieve the financial goals promoted. The product milestones are 20 million vehicles, 1 million robots, 1 million robo taxis. My first thought, great, Tesla's still mostly a car maker, but turns out, sadly, no. Reaching a cumulative total of 20 million vehicles by 2035? They made almost 8 million in the last 10 years, so that's another 12 million in the next 10 years. At the 2023 Investor Day, Musk was still promoting a target of 20 million vehicles per year. It's the financial targets that raise the bar. While EBITDA can be how CFOs make results look better, it does have meaning. The 10-year target of 400 billion per year is 23 times the current EBITDA and eight times Toyota's 51 billion 2024 EBITDA. Where will all that money come from? Hmm. Targets don't even need to increase vehicle sales. Profits from any million FSD subscriptions? At current prices, that could add 1 billion to revenue, which isn't even 1% of the gains needed. Humanoid robots would target price less than that of a small car, so maybe 10 billion in profits, but Tesla's first million cars didn't yet deliver any profit. How about from operating 1 million robo taxis? Tesla has not made official projections, but those by Forbes and others range from adding 30 to 75 billion to EBITDA, dwarfing other targets combined and accounting for over 80% of revenue and almost all new revenue. Still, even with this new main revenue source, EBITDA is below 100 million, so only a quarter of the target. How will Tesla step up from 100 to 400 billion EBITDA? Tesla investors just need to have faith. What is revealed means Tesla effectively becomes a robo-taxi business, a far more profitable one than rival Uber, and for this next phase at least, all other Tesla activities, including vehicle sales, become just a sideline. The entire focus is more on those trillion dollar financial numbers than how to earn them. The focus on maintaining that stock price that currently means a PE of over 270? Even the future plans could still require a PE ratio of over 70 to have an 8.5 trillion valuation? The fact that the stock market can sustain that PE ratio makes me feel it's not just Tesla, but the whole market that's currently a house of cards.